everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I have had a good week. We've been at the beach, Brooke and I, and I've been home some and at the beach. That's just the way it is, but it's kind of neat. It's, it's kind of like not really a vacation, but a change of scenery, and I just love being down there, and I love spending the night a few times, but I I can't lie, I like to come home too and watch Dexter with John. And Chanel is here with us. She cannot stand it unless she is knocking stuff over. Oh, hold on just a second. I don't want her to get that. Hold on. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the things that I got this week. It's kind of like an assortment as usual. Brooke and I, one night after dinner, we went to Walgreens and CVS. And then yesterday before dinner, we went to Ulta. And last time we went to Ulta, they had only they had not gotten a truck in since the shutdown. Now they had gotten two more in, but they didn't have a lot of new stuff. But she said that they're getting another one in, I think Monday or something. So maybe I'll go check out and see if they've gotten some other new things in. But today, the main thing I wanted to share with you is this. And it's two rodeo palettes that I ordered last Friday night when I just loved, I realized how much I love these drops, the tanning. I showed them to you last Friday. They are the um, bronze glow drops. So I ordered the Mrs. Rodial the Edit, and this has the eyeshadows that I have on, the blush, it has the highlighting powder, it has the bronze tour, the bronzing powder. I mean, this is just a phenomenal palette. And then I also got the icons collection this one has in it let's read this paper here the contour light bronzer blush in soho highlighter highlighter 06 07 banana and translucent hd and i use these two and i actually did a tutorial with these products not a tutorial a get ready with me and so i goodness i can't get my paper on there right i am going to edit try my best to edit both of these and have them both up together tonight i just knew it would be too much for one video but love these love these then i also use the concealer the mascara um, and then i had also ordered two lip pencils in into you and uh, calabasas and that is what i have on my lips right now for a good nude lip okay so that is the biggest, probably, makeup thing that I got this week. Then I got, when we went to Ulta, the first thing I put in my little basket is this Tarte, the Park Avenue Princess Waterproof Face and Body Bronzer. I've already got one. I showed it to you in, like, my hair video was the last video. And that brush I used is an older brush. But any soft, dense like kabuki brush is probably what I, I would suggest. I would not use like a big fluffy brush. You're not gonna get the same coverage and the same smoothness as you get when you use a kabuki brush. So they have one that comes out with this. I may get it and just try it for us to let you know, but oh my goodness, this is so good. It's just as good as the Laura Geller. Oh God, I hate to say maybe better. I would have to use them side by side and tell, but I love it. And some websites say limited edition, so I don't want to chance it, so I bought a backup of this. I was watching Natty, Flower Bomb 31. I watched her video, and she was trying this Elf Luminous Putty Primer, and I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to try this. And then when I was over there in that section, I also saw they had some putty eye primers. I bought... Looks like they don't have the name on it, do they? But I bought the, um, yes, rose and cream. So we will try these sometime this week. I was saying in my other video, I want to do some more tutorials this week. Let's see, at Dior last week, I fell in love with this picture of an 80s, no, I would say probably 70s supermodel. And if I can find the picture, I'll put it here. And I was going out to Dior anyway to get, not Dior, <laughs> Dillard's anyway to get, oh my goodness, I can't even remember what it was. But I ended up getting this lipstick and it is so pretty. It's like a new, I don't know what it's called. 
called? It's called Dior Addict Stellar Halo Shine. And they have like a, you can't see mine anymore. Let me see if I swatch it, if the star will end up showing. In the middle was a star, but I've used it so much. This has just been living in my purse. But look at the color. Look how pretty it is. It has like that iridescent shine to it without full-on pieces of glitter or sparkle and it is just so pretty it looks so good with so many different lip liners it is that color that looks like a flower like a hibiscus it just has so much like body to it and it's glossy but not goopy it's just a really really nice lipstick i think i'm going to get my mom this color too because i think that she would really like that and it's just so pretty Thank you. That, this is something I have used and used, and I think you'll love it. So that's all that I got that day, I think, in makeup. And then I bought Brooke and I. Oh, we went to Target, too. She gets me. She gets me every time. So we did go to Target. She needed a shirt for work. Yeah. So she got me for a few other things. But I bought this bathing suit bottom. I thought it was so cute. I love the ruffle bathing suit bottoms. I think that they, not only are they cute, but when you get my age, in your 30s, 40s, or whatever, and you're not, you know, just the fittest person on the beach, the ruffle is kind of neat. It kind of, I feel like it almost softens your butt a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, just softens the whole appearance, and it doesn't dig into your fat and like leave a crease or a bubble out because this you know ruffle goes I, I just think it looks good so i really like this and it was it's a medium which is an 8 to 10 and it was 17.99 so you can't beat that i will be wearing this soon my goal is to feel good enough to take a an outfit of the day in my bikini so that might be the one okay and then i got this top i will take the padding out brooke and i both got this top because we thought it was so cute and it is just a, what I say, it's a push-up? No, it's not a push-up. There's absolutely no push-upness down there. And I'm going to actually go ahead and take this out and just show you. It's just, it just has the underwire that's going to give you lift and a frame and just that. And the reason I was thinking I might like this is because a lot of times, you know, your boobs just, in a regular top, they just spread out. And I just thought it might look better. You know, I just wanted to see how this looked. So we both got this one. And actually, this comes in a bra size, too. I got the 34D, and it was uh, $24.99. So I don't know if I'll be able to find this, but they have really good bathing suits at Target. And I'm really thankful for them because before, it's like all the bathing suits at the surf shops and the department stores, have you noticed they'll come out, like, in February? But by the time you feel like bathing suit shopping they're sold out well target here sells our bathing suits all year round just because we're a beach town and um so anyway there it is with no padding i ordered this little cover up beach cover up i love this so much i ordered this from amazon and it comes in many colors but one thing i like to use beach cover-ups for too is when i get out of the shower when it's, I don't want the bulk of a like big white terry cloth robe, but I want to be covered, but I don't want to have to worry about like the silky robes. They just don't work for me that much because they're always, I don't know, they're like falling off and everything. And I feel like this is just a little something. I've done that before and I've done it with my white cover up that I ordered from Amazon. I love that one. That's another good one. I'll list it below but I just loved this one and I'm going to use it as a cover-up and kind of like a around the house until I decide what I'm going to wear and a lot of times I don't like to get dressed until after I've done my makeup so that I don't spill anything on my dress or anything so I got that and then I got this dress I'm going to put an outfit of the day at the end of this video I know you can't see very well but it is like a faux wrap dress it it wraps enough that you can tighten it up, but it still stays together, and I love it. For those of you that might want to wear this to work, I feel like it's a very modest neckline, 
and this sheerness right here like the shearing of this is a good tummy you know a tummy hider let me back up a little bit more and let's see it's all the way it's all the way to the knee but like I said I will put a outfit of the day at the end of this video and what else okay oh i needed to get up anyway to show you a couple of things that i got from one kitty cat thing from amazon and then some other stuff i'll be right back hey i hope you can see i ordered i was on the um oh gosh i think it was urban outfitters website looking i don't know what i was looking for there's no telling but i ended up ordering these and i think they're so pretty and they're just little let me take this one out of the bag but little um bikini panties and i think they're so pretty yes oh my gosh perfect and they're good and stretchy and oh they're so pretty i love i love old school silky panties and i love these that are kind of sheer i just think they're so pretty and so sexy and they have the seam up the back and i believe it was like five four x amount so i got the peachy nude ones i got a red pair i got two purple because i wear a lot of like purple stuff and then i got this mint green pair then i got these sweatpants that i have not even looked at yet but i wanted some good white joggers and i saw these and they are just the champion and let's see if they say anything special i don't think they do but i just thought these would look good with a white tank top on days that i want to look put together but really comfy i like doing something like all white all black and like a nice fitted white tank top kind of like the one from target or walmart i got a good one from walmart and the white pants so cute and I would definitely, I would either wear, you could wear tennis shoes with it, or I would wear like my Haviana wedge sandals or even like a little nude sandal, depending on where I was going. And I've been keeping this in this box and I have not unwrapped it because I knew the cats would drive me crazy. But I saw this girl on TikTok and she had this scratching pad for her cats. So I ordered one for the girls and Bubba and it is so cool. Look how you can scratch all in it and all around it. And um, Chanel loves to lay on the scratching board. I had one of those cheap ones in there, just the little strip, and she would lay on that and then it got to be so messy and everything. So I threw it away. Then I got one that's just like a piece of carpet and she lays on it, but it's kind of small and it knocks over when they're scratching on it. So I grabbed this one and it comes with the catnip in it too. So I might put the catnip in the bottom because I think as sturdy as this is, it won't knock over quite as much. Okay, and I think that's it. I didn't, like I said, I haven't ordered a whole bunch this week. Anything I missed, like a little thing I picked up here or there, I will probably cover when I do some get ready with me this week. But I just changed into this purse yesterday or day before yesterday and i love it i love this little bag it is so cute it is so user friendly i love being able to just grab up the handles like that it has the long handle like if you're shopping and you just want to put it you know over and i just wanted to show it to you again because i think it's very unique to have this look but have it in black i think it's very kind of like uh let's say beachy chic <laughs> So guys, that is it for my accessories today. I have on some Dean Davidson little um, huggy earrings. I have on the blue topaz plaza ring. If you have been waiting for the blue topaz jewelry to come back in stock, he told me yesterday that they're stocked up and I still have my code Lisa25 for 25% off. And I put on his bracelet from that, I think it was the Lagos collection and then you guys know these are the hrh um, this is that necklace that i got from amazon that i have been loving i haven't taken it off and that is it and i hope you guys saw something that you liked and i will post the get ready with me for this look right after this video thank you for being here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up 
and ring the bell so that you will know when I post videos and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.